Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Barisangi Sumwike, has set a 27th of October 2024 deadline for beggars to vacate the streets of Abuja. The minister made this statement at Katanpe during the flag of ceremony for the construction of the access road to the new judges' quarters in Abuja. He expressed concern over the rising number of beggars on the streets of the capital, warning that they risk being arrested by enforcement agents if they fail to comply with the directive. FCT correspondent Naomi Olerbe has details. Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Baris Tanyasom Wiki, noted that the increasing presence of beggars poses a security risk to the city. He added that some of these individuals serve as informats for criminals, including armed robbers and kidnappers. We have declared war. Abuja is returning to beggar city. If you know you have a sister, you have a brother who is a beggar on the road, please, from next week, we will carry them. We will take them out. I mean, it is, it is, it is embarrassing that people will come in, the first thing they see are just beggars on the, on the road. Sometimes, too, they may not be beggars. They may be criminals pretending to be beggars. We will not allow that. So I'm giving you a public holiday from now to Sunday. From Monday, we will pack them uh, out. On the construction of the new access road, Barrister Wiki assured that funding for the project is well secured with 70% of the required funds already available. It is the city that tells you how the place will be. If foreigners come to the city and the city does not look good, it has given the impression that if the city does not look good, you can imagine what will happen in the rural uh, areas. So let everybody know that we owe a duty to make sure Abuja competes favorably with other cities of the world. In a related address, Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Benjamin Kalu, representing the Speaker of the 10th Assembly, Honorable Tajuddin Abbas, stated that the completion of these access roads will enhance the quality of life for both residents and visitors to the city. The ongoing rehabilitation of major roads, the clearing of illegal structures, and the focus on environmental sustainability are all testament to the Honorable Minister's vision of an Abuja that is not only beautiful, but Abuja that is functional and Abuja that is efficient. Barrister Wike also reviewed plans to complete six additional roads spanning approximately 65 kilometers in various area councils by December. He reiterated his administration's dedication to making Abuja a world-class city capable of competing with other international urban centers. Naomi Oleribe, ADBN News.